Okay, so where are we today? Well, it's a mid-January Saturday. We are on, I'm not sure whether it's the English Channel or the North Sea. There you go. And we're on a Stena Line car ferry. And this is the, I think it's pronounced, the Hellendica. So it's the Stena Hellendica. And I'm just going to give you a quick review of this car ferry, just so you can get some idea of what facilities are available on board. Now in the past we brought the caravan over and I've shown you in a previous video of coming on with a caravan um, but I think I also showed you a cabin on that one so we haven't got a cabin here I'm just showing you the main areas so we're out on the main deck here so plenty of fresh air great in the summer a little bit nippy here in the winter but just to give you some idea there's the funnel and there's smoke coming out of the funnel so this is a trip I said it's a Saturday and we took the nine o'clock sailing and we're getting into the hook of Holland from Harwich at approximately quarter to five in the afternoon so outside area you've got two areas one each side of the ship at the bow one is the smoking area and the other is just a leisure area the other side Let's go inside because it's getting nippy. Just before we go inside, you'll see an outside bar here. Now I'm not saying that this is going to be open in January because it certainly isn't at the moment. And the ship is very, very quiet because of COVID restrictions in uh, Holland at the moment and the Netherlands. But uh, a good day possibly to do a vlog so you can see. So let's get, get inside quickly. So we're inside main section of the car ferry or ship now and uh, you've got a bit of a games room going on here if you want to play some games to while away it's time the time on the cruise and then coming out we've got just a small lounge area there which plenty of room to sit around lounge chat with friends smooth do all sorts of things and then you've got a nice little bar at the end there as well just around the corner from the bars you've got a tv area that shows all sorts of sports so you get football on there snooker whatever is the sport of the day it's available on these screens to watch on board ship there is a private lounge which you can book at about 16 pounds a head and that means you get all free coffee teas wines and snacks during the ver of the journey uh, comfortable seating and you've got a waiter on hand all the time and that is £16 a head so if you just want to sit away from everybody else £16 is what it will cost you there is a completely separate section called truckers and this is a restaurant bar for the lorry drivers and truckers on board who are bringing in lorries and everything so I should imagine they get a better menu in there and better prices as well and then this is the main atrium lots of information signs telling you where to go what to do staircases there taking you up to the cabins on the top two decks there are plenty of lifts as well so don't worry about that if you have mobility requirements you can use lots of lifts to get up and down to the various decks there is a cinema on board ship that shows regular viewings of up-to-date movies. Uh, today, January 22, they've been showing the James Bond movie, uh, the recent one. I'm not sure what it's called. Is it uh, Too Late to Die or Die Too Early? I'm not sure. Sorry about that, guys. But it's being shown two or three times today during this journey. Into one of the main parts of the ship now and you've got the usual duty-free shop which is just here selling alcohol, perfumes, uh, accessories, gifts, various other makeups and things all at really good prices so for example today there's a special deal on for two litres of vodka for 16 euros which I think is quite a good price so well worth poking around in there on the right here there is a section that looks as if it's being refurbished not sure what they're doing there 
but just to have a look in there. I think there used, used to be like the games entertainment area, so this would have been where they had fruit machines and other things. So, uh, yep, yeah, bit of refurbishing going on here. Another lounge here on deck nine, which is a good place. Ooh. Sorry about that guys, obviously an announcement I couldn't predict. So another lounge area here to look and sit in while you're passing those hours away during the journey. And just to the left here you've got guest services and freight check-in as well. So all in the main area, all on deck nine as you go through the ship. Cash points if you want cash, euros and GB pounds. More gaming areas through there. And then we come through to the main restaurant areas. Lots of toilets on the left and the right as you go around. Main restaurant areas, you've got the Taste, which is a buffet restaurant, which is here on the left hand side. Really big restaurant. We had breakfast there this morning. The menu is slightly limited at the moment because of COVID. So they're not doing full buffets as they used to. But you'll get a gist of the size of the restaurant and how much space there is in there for you to uh, sit with your family and friends. Another bar here on the right hand side. And then plenty more seating right at the very front of the ship where we've spent most of our journey today. I think Mrs T's up here around the corner. Hello Mrs T. There she is. Snoozing or just... We're nearly there. Half an hour. And then coming round, there's another restaurant which you can go in, which is waiter service. You can have lunch in here. You can have an evening meal in here. You can pre-book all these. We've had a meal in here before and it's been really good. As you can see, not a large restaurant, but really is quite nice. And if you ask them nicely, they will give you a window seat or table. And then another little bar here to sit and enjoy your evening or afternoon. Well, that's it. So nothing flash, just a quick, quick spin round the uh, Stena Hollendica. Um, I hope it's given you some idea of what the ship is like. As I said, January day, it's been very, very calm. We're now coming into dock. A little bit of land over there. So we've just been given a half an hour call. And that's it. I hope it's been of some interest to you. I really do. If it has, please, please, please give me the thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. Hit that little red button and subscribe because the more you subscribe to these things, the more of these uh, little vlogs, little reviews we can bring to you. We keep it honest. We keep it simple. I know they're not edited. It's not my style, so please. Um, thanks very much for watching and stay safe. Bye for now.